Die Glas Gin, ja, ich nicht sehen. Okay, class, so let's see. Start. Okay, so sorry. Uh, we are our way of discussing alternating current. Eh? So let's we continue. We try to cover uh, the other parts. Eh? Okay, so recall back. Okay, so so we learn about okay, so we learn about the introduction of alternating current, a type of current that move uh, back and forth both directions. Okay. And here in this here you need to draw the one example of alternating current. Of course, uh, if you plot V versus uh, T, of course it should be a sinusoidal, uh, sinusoidal one. If it goes to sinusoidal one, okay, or can be current, uh, current or potential difference. Okay, to be sinusoidal. Uh. Okay, then because alternating current, it's it's uh, take the wave shape, so like like. You know, oscillation also, uh, like oscillation. So the formula also looks uh, exactly like the pattern of oscillation, right? So it must have a trick uh, sign or cos omega t. So the omega can be replaced with 2 pi f or 2 pi over t. Okay. So for the first time, you come across that current, alternating current, eh, got, got more, more what you call property than the DC, eh, such as period frequency and angular frequency. Only happens for AC and eh, not DC. Okay. So then the highlight of the last class was, which you know need to know in depth, is a value of root mean square. Eh, root mean square value. Okay. Uh, this is what really stressed last class. Okay. So today we will continue to highlight more about this eh, to understand further. Eh. So, so as I said. Uh, root mean square value. Root mean square value is a value. Is a is a important note the effect. Eh? So what is root mean square value? Uh, this is the what we learn, right? Uh, root mean square value of an AC is defined as a value that equivalent value to a DC DC current, which would dissipate the same heat, eh? the same heat at the same average rate. Eh? Or you can say the same rate of heat across resistor. Okay, so we stop there the day. So these are the kind of like a derivation end up getting the root mean squared. Uh, uh, is the value equivalent to the direct current value, which gives you the same effect. Okay, then I told you that 
uh, for sinusoidal alternating current, how the I RMS and I peak is related? How V RMS and V peak related? Okay, I RMS is equals to the I naught over root two. Okay. Okay, so that means uh, if you have a, a alternating AC supply, if you have an AC supply, okay, let's say in your, in your in the lab, okay, I don't know how many of you have come across, have observed this, you know, in the lab, you have a power supply, right? You have power supply. I think one corner you have a DC input, the other corner is an AC input. Eh? We normally, so far in your previous AS uh, studies, we just use DC, we put positive negative DC connect. And if here you be keen to a uh, six volt maybe, eh? but if you connect to the AC and put here six volt to a light bulb, okay, uh, of course it will it'll light up with the normal brightness, okay. But you should know the six volt indicated here connecting to AC. This six volt is it RMS value or a peak value? So this six volt is actually the RMS. It's a RMS value of this AC six volt. Eh? Okay. So so that's what you need to know. Eh? The six volt connected to AC, that six volt is actually the RMS value. That means you should understand for this light bulb, the voltage is fluctuates fluctuates for this light bulb. Okay. Uh, with the RMS value of six volt, but the peak, the peak, eh, the peak value will be slightly higher than I RMS la for sure. Eh? the six times root two, right, will be the peak value, okay? That means for this light bulb, uh, the, the the voltage is fluctuates, so the current also fluctuates, okay? If you if it's stated here, six volt means uh, the light bulb sometimes can go beyond six volt, uh, the instantaneous voltage. Uh, it can go up to six root two, if you if you connect it to an alternating current. Uh, but whatever it is, the average power for DC and AC is the same. Uh, you get the same brightness. Okay. Okay, so from here, let's we move on. Uh, more questions for understanding this concept. Okay. So one question again. Uh, so look at this question. Look at the solution. Okay. The sinusoidal potential difference is applied to the Y input. Okay. For cathode ray oscilloscope, uh, the display on the CRO scene uh, screen when the time base is switched off. Okay, actually, this is a CRO only appears a straight line, but it's supposed to appear as a, a, a wave, a wave, right? But because time base is shut down, so it only shows the vertical line. Okay, so CRO screen time base is switched off. Eh? The Y sensitivity is set to 10 volt. So that means every box is 10 volt, eh? every one box is 10 volt, eh? okay, per division. Find the peak voltage. Find the peak to peak voltage. Find the RMS voltage. Okay, I think we agree this working, right? Eh? So peak voltage, just half of this length, right? Eh? This is peak to peak. Work. Peak to peak is six boxes. So peak to half will be three boxes. So this is your peak voltage, eh? peak voltage. Three boxes, each box is 10, so it should be 30, right? So peak voltage is 30. Eh? Okay. So peak to peak, of course, 60, eh? right? 60. Eh? So the RMS value, RMS voltage, just peak voltage over root 2. Uh, it's 21.2. Okay. So, so yeah, this 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 supplies actually uh this supply can give a brightness to a light bulb uh let's say this light bulb is connected to a dc of 21.2 volt and uh, 21.2 volt okay if you connect this ac to a light bulb if it gives a normal brightness that means the light bulb can be connected to a dc with 21.2 21.2 volt will give a normal brightness okay normal brightness okay so I think not a challenging one, right? Uh -huh. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, come on, your turn. Just one minute. Can you calculate? Can you get these questions? Can you answer this question? 
uh, it's a AC sinusoidal. The diagram shows a variation of an alternating current. Determine the amplitude. Determine the RMS value. Determine frequency of the power supply. Determine the phase at 15 milliseconds. Uh, the phase is from 0 to 15 actually, uh, 15 milliseconds. What is the phase between 0 to 15? Uh, 0 to 15. Okay. Was phase at 15. Yeah, correct. Okay, give you one minute. Come on, get the answers. Okay, amplitude. Easy, right? Amplitude just 10 ampere. The RMS value. RMS value, you get 7.1, right? So the peak over root 2, okay? And the frequency is 40 milliseconds. So make sure your, you check what unit is at the x-axis, 40 milliseconds. So of course, 1 over 40, right? Uh, times 10 power negative 3, you get 25 hertz. Uh. Okay, the phase is the phase is under 35. Uh, phase from where to where? Uh, the phase at 15 milliseconds. Okay, from here 90, 15. Oh, sorry, I made a minute. This is not 15. 15 is here. Yeah, 15 is here. Yeah, of course. So phase. Uh, how do you find phase difference? Recall back the phase difference formula. Uh, two formulas, right? T over period times two pi can give you the phase difference, right? Uh, or the two pi you can replace with 360, right? So in this case, time is 15, period is uh, 40 times 360. So it will give you the phase difference. So, so under 35, the phase difference between 15 to 0. Eh? Okay. Okay, so I, this also looks okay, right? So let's we go to another one. Okay, let's go a little challenging one. Eh? Okay, this. Okay, give you two minutes. Come on. Try to figure out the idea. How do you get answer for this five? Just two minutes for you to think. Eh? Okay, an electric kettle is marked 240 volt and 1440. Right, you you go and buy any electronic uh, electrical devices. Uh, the two values normally stated on these electrical devices, of course, definitely the voltage. Eh? So, what is the voltage to be used? Don't exceed that voltage. You're going to spoil that that device. And they will sometimes they'll tell you the power. What's the power uh, utilized by that device? Like for example, air dryer. Uh, air dryer. They will tell you how many volt, how many watts. Okay, so the electric kettle is marked as this value. Although not stated, these values may be taken to be uh, this. Um, the question itself already helped you. Uh, I thought I want to ask this question. Okay, so if if the air dryer you bought, okay, it stated this 240 volt and 1440 watts. It stated 1440 watts. And it said it's a, AC, you connected to an alternating AC supply, AC supply. That means this 240 is actually RMS value. Okay, this is the RMS value. Okay, of of that um, what do you call it? device? Remember. Okay, so 240 volt is actually the RMS value, not the peak value. Eh? RMS value. Okay, the power given here is the this is the average power. Eh? Power. Like for example, yeah, it's a, it's an average power. Eh? So now. Can you find what is the RMS current? So, so P equals to IV, right? P equals to IV. So I is what? I is P over V, right? 
So power is 1440. Okay. Over the RMS voltage. Uh, the RMS voltage. In this case, 240 volt. Yeah. So, so B RMS, I also RMS eh, to get the average power. So in this case, yeah, 1440 divided by 240 will give you RMS current. Uh, this, this is your RMS current. Okay, whatever current you got here is your RMS current. You should get 6 ampere. Uh, you should get 6 ampere. Okay. So remember, for the AC supply, if they never stated, is it the peak voltage or RMS voltage on the device? That means that is your RMS value. Okay. Okay, so that's the first one. Eh? You look at the second one. The peak current. Okay, the peak current. How do you get the peak current? Or oh, peak current. So peak current, yeah, you know the RMS current really, right? So you can work out the peak current, right? Because RMS current and peak current got related one. So I naught over root two is your I RMS, right? Okay, yeah. So I, you can find the I naught. I naught is I RMS times root two. Okay. So I RMS is six times root two. Now you should get the peak current. The peak current is 8.49 ampere. Okay, so that's your peak current. Okay, work out the other three. C, D, and E. How are you going to find peak potential? Peak potential difference, peak voltage. Uh, you know RMS voltage already. RMS voltage is 240. So you can find the peak line, right? Eh? So the peak voltage is, uh, yeah. So V0 is equals to, uh, what? V0 over root 2 eh? is equals to VRMS. Okay, always. So yeah, so V0 is VRMS times root 2. That means 240 times root 2 will give you the peak, peak potential difference. So you get 339 volt. Okay. Okay, the last two. Find the peak power. Uh, this is peak power, you know, it's not average power. Eh? Uh, the power stated here in the 1440 in the instrument is actually the average power. This is your average power. That means P equals to IV. The I is all RMS values. I RMS times V RMS give you the average power. The average power, the power, average power of the of the supply. Eh? But here they want peak power. Do you agree the power will go to a peak value, right? Okay. Because AC, the voltage is alternating going up and down. Okay. The average power is 1414. Eh? So we will have a, instantaneously we'll achieve a peak, right? Peak power. So how to find the peak power? Okay, the peak power I do up here. The peak power, of course, uh P not, eh? Peak power is actually I peak times the V peak. Uh, so when you go for peak power, all the numbers values must be peak. Eh? I not I peak V peak will give you the peak power. Okay. Yeah. So you know the peak potential. You know the peak current. You know the answer B and C. So you can find the peak power. Peak power. Yeah. So 8.49 times 3, 339 volt will give you the peak power. So I think you get should get 2880 watts. Eh? Okay. Okay, next. Find the average power. Average power no need to find. It's already given here. This is your average power. The 1440 is the average power. Okay. Yeah. So those who are able to find this all the answers without my help, uh, without what I'm saying you just now, you got all these answers. Good. Uh, you got the idea to begin. When to use peak current, when to use RMS current, you should know. Uh, and they say peak power, you have to use all the peak values. Uh, 
and they said average power you have to use all the rms values in the formula okay if they never said anything it, it just they just ask you to find what is the power they never tell is average or peak then uh, benefit of doubt we just go is average power looking for average power uh -huh. so they never said what power is that you assume it's average power so use rms values uh, to calculate the power okay okay here another one important thing you need to know is look at the last two answers look at the last two answers peak power is 2880 the average power is 1440 okay so how many times peak power is greater than the average power twice okay the peak power is greater greater by twice compared to the average power okay but there is one year they asked two marks question proof that peak power is two times of the average power one year they asked two marks question how are you going to prove that how are you going to prove peak power is is same as the average power how do you prove that so actually it's in the word notes eh? oh it's not yeah sorry okay how do you prove that you see the peak power is i naught v naught eh? but i naught is actually what is i rms uh, square root uh, 2 right multiplying so i naught is actually i rms square root 2 v naught is v rms square root 2 so end up getting 2 i rms v rms is a big power so i rms V RMS is actually average power. It's average power. It's a peak power. Yeah. Okay. So the average power is actually half of the peak power. So proven. Okay. I want you to ask this proving. Okay. Two marks. So just I know we know you change to RMS. I RMS V RMS is the average power. So you can link the peak power with the average power. Okay. That means remember, eh, if the average power is uh, 100, if the average power is 100 for an alternating current, okay, so you should know that the peak power will be 200, 200 watts, okay, so the power can rise up to 200 watt at certain moment, eh, at a particular moment, okay, okay, so please take down this, okay, please take down this. Uh, get into your including your notes eh? how peak power related to the average power okay okay it's one minute for you Okay, so hope you take down. Okay, as you go back to the slide. Okay, go back to the slide. Huh? Okay, so that's how RMS and peak voltage is linked. Huh? Okay, now last question before we continue. Can okay, look at this one. Okay, uh, this is a very good question. Okay, two minutes again, guys. Come on. Of course, the next slide is the answer. Uh, try to figure out rough idea. How do you think you can work out these answers? What formula to be used? Do you need to use the RMS value or a peak value? Uh, Electric heater connected to a 240 volt RMS power supply. Normally in exam, sometimes they won't tell RMS. They just say uh, connected to a heater of 240 power supply. So you should know 240 is the RMS value. Eh? Yeah. 
supply receive an alternating current that varies with time according to uh, this formula. Okay. So calculate the frequency of the alternating current. Okay, what is the frequency of this alternating current? Two minutes for you, come on, figure out. So is that a T or an F? Also? Yeah. Is that a T or an F, the one behind 100 pi? Oh, it's always T, time, oh. small T, okay. Okay, so of course, of course, uh, if you use the common formula, right? I equals to I not sine omega t. Eh? Yeah. So I think you can find the frequency, right? The 100 pi is your omega. Eh? So you know omega, you can find period and frequency, right? Yeah, so what? So 2 pi, what is that? 2 pi f should be equivalent to the 100 pi, correct? Eh? Yeah. So I think the first answer you got how much? 50, right? 50 hertz. Right. Hmm. So interpreting the equation, eh? interpreting the equation. Anything beside the trigo, beside the T, whatever remaining between it is, is, is actually the omega, eh? angular frequency. And, and the eight, is definitely is the peak current. Uh, peak current also eight. We know eight MPa is the peak current. Okay. Now since these are the two information you get it from the AC and eh, the omega and the peak current. Okay. If it's a current formula. Eh. Okay. Peak voltage. RMS is given, so we can find the peak, right? Eh. So 240 root two times root two get the peak voltage, correct? Okay. Just let's we get the technique first. Eh? Just we get the technique first. How do you get RMS value? I RMS. You know I peak. Oh, you know I peak. I peak is eight watt. Eh? So I RMS is what? I RMS is uh, eight over root two, right? I peak over root two. You get I RMS. Eh? Okay. Okay, let's we continue. Just, just uh, the technique first, lah. Eh? I'm not interested with the answer. The technique. Okay. Peak power. Peak power. What formula comes to your mind? Peak power. Peak power is what? Uh, I not, we not, right? All peak values, lah. Eh? I not, we not. Yeah. So I not, you know. I not is eight, right? So we know eight. We not, do you know? We not is the answer B, right? Answer B, you know, we not already. Right? Eh? So the answer B, we not. You put it in here, you can get the peak power. Okay. How do you find average power? You know, peak power. You can find average power, right? Uh, Half of the peak power is the average power, right? Just now we proved. Eh? So average power is actually P naught over root, uh, P naught over two, right? The peak power over two is your average power. You get this answer, right? Eh? Okay, I hope all of you got this, this, this ideas. Okay. Okay. Now look at the F. Sketch a graph, current against time, power against time. And this I haven't taught you yet, but you can predict, right? How current against time graph going to look like? You already give the current formula, but it's a sine graph, right? So current against time, it's going to be a sine graph, right? So I versus T, it's going to be a sine graph. It's going to be a sine graph, of course. Uh, you don't simply sketch the line you have to tell what is the peak value you must tell at least what is the period these informations you must include eh? 
because you know these informations really well. So put what is the I naught value, what is the period, uh, then you get full mark for the graph. Eh? Don't only sketch. Eh? Okay, I think F1 is not that bad. We know the equation is in sine, so current going to be sine. Eh? This kind. But uh, how about the F2? How power against time graph going to look like? What shape? If current is sine, how power graph going to look like? What is power? Power, what formula? I times V. Right? So I was changing in terms of sine. I not sine omega t. Eh? It change, changes sinusoidally. Do you have any idea how the voltage is going to change? Is it going to be sine or cos? How do you know? Is it voltage causes current or current causes voltage? The voltage causes current, right? Yeah, voltage causes current. Current changing in terms of sign, in a sign pattern. That means voltage also must be sign, right? I think I told you this. Eh? When voltage increases, current increases, right? So indirectly, you should know that when the current is sign, voltage also, we don't know what is the V0 value, lie, is definitely going to be sign. It's something to do with sign. If current is sign, voltage also definitely sign. Okay. So, from here, can you predict how's the power graph going to look like? Uh, I is sine, voltage is sine. So, power graph, what do you want? Sine, sine is going to be, it's a sine squared graph. It's, it's a sine squared graph. Okay. So, the power going to be a sine squared graph. Okay. Sine squared graph within a period, eh? within the period. Okay. So, should be like this, right? Look at the last part. Uh, see, uh, the current is one complete period is 0 0.02. Okay. So, within a period, uh, this is a sine squared graph. You have two peaks, uh, two peaks, right? Uh, sine, sine squared should be tend to become like this, right? Uh, like this sine squared graph. You should know better. Maths. Okay. So, this is your peak voltage. Uh, this is your peak voltage. Uh, this is how the power graph will look like. Okay, please include. If V is sine, V is V sine, I also will be sine. Okay. So power will be sine squared. Okay. If V is cos, I will be cos, power will be cos squared graph. Okay. So remember. Yes, any questions up to here? No questions, eh? Okay. So I think this is uh, one uh, different type of question. Eh? They give current formula. So from here, you find the omega and i, you work out the i naught, i RMS, everything. Okay. I can say this is a co one complete question describing about AC. Okay. Okay, so yeah, before we go to next part. Okay guys, so now something important to Okay. Sorry. You know, just now the I RMS is found to be I naught over root two, right? V RMS is V naught over root two, right? Okay. These two formulas only apply for sine. Okay. But in exam, in your syllabus, sometimes they will ask you to find I RMS and V RMS for a different pattern of graph. Okay, different pattern of graph. For example, 
like square wave, like this. Okay, like this square wave, let's say. Uh, they give graph like this. It's alternating current. Okay, it's alternating current. Let's say this is 3 ampere. Uh, down is, uh, let's say, uh, negative 3 ampere. This is half period. This is half period. This is period. Now they will ask, okay, for this AC, what is the RMS value for this graph? Uh, for this AC, I versus T. Okay, so how to find? We can't use I not over root 2 for this uh, because this is not sinusoidal. Okay, yeah. so, so if they give different pattern, how to find the RMS value? So that's what I'm going to teach you today. Okay, yeah. okay. So how to find RMS value for a different shape of graph? So what you have to do is you have to work from behind. Okay, yeah. you have to work from behind. Means you know RMS root mean square, right? First, you have to square the graph first. Work from behind. Uh, square the graph first. Okay, then min the graph, then root it. Okay, you will get the RMS value. Okay, what I what I am trying to say to you. First, square the graph. So example, let's say for this graph, okay, three negative three. Square the graph. When you square the graph, how the graph going to change? Graph three becomes three square become what? It become nine, right? It become nine. Uh, it become nine. Okay, and the negative three become what? Also become nine, right? So become nine. We just focus within a period, eh? Just one period. Okay, yeah. So square the graph. Yeah. So yeah. So the first graph is you square it. You square it. The graph already tend to become like a blue color. Yeah. Eh? Okay. Square the graph. So now you need to find the mean. Mean the graph. Mean the value. Uh, how to find the mean? You see, yeah. Uh, mean the graph is actually this formula. Okay, guys. Uh, I think this is not good because I'm giving three negative three. I can't show you the differences. Okay, let me show you another one. Eh? Sorry, another one is uh, I T uh, up is three, but down is negative two. Three negative two. Ah, uh, this AC. And this is TO2, this is T. Okay, well, I want to find the RMS for this. Uh, this is better. Okay. So, first, how do you find the RMS? Square the graph. You square the graph, 3 become what? 3 become 9. Become 9 up to TO2. Then, the next half, height become what? Negative 2, you square become what? Become 4. Right? Become 4. Yeah. Yeah, correct. Yeah. So, so this is we squared the graph. Okay, you squared the graph. Okay. So let me draw this graph separately. Okay. So when you square the graph, the graph become like this, like a two rectangle box. Eh? One is nine, and the one is found to be four. Okay. So what we want to do, the the current here. The square current, this is a square current, like square, square. We already square the graph. Right? Square versus T like this. Yeah? Okay, this is the square graph. Okay. The current is not average. The first half period, the current was nine. The second half period, the current is like the square of the current is four. We want to find mean value of this. Mean. The mean value of this. Mean value means you know this this uneven box, right? Like uh, two boxes. Okay, we want to find we make we want to make change this shape this shape uh, we want to change this shape to like a rectangle a rectangle so that the height is the height is like same uh, this is the mean value you want to change this box to like an average value you want to find the average value like like this okay within a period okay so the value the height we are getting here this is your i uh, is this your mean squared value? This is your mean squared value. Okay? This is your mean squared value. So, how do you get this mean squared value? How this mean squared value related to the earlier area? The area is same for both of them. Uh, the area is the same. So, the original area is what? Original area. Sorry, the, or the blue color, the blue one. Original area is how much? The original area is 9 times t over 2. 
plus 4 times another t over 2, right? This is the original area, eh? the two rectangle shape. Eh? Okay. So this should be equivalent to, this should be equivalent to the mean square. Eh? This should be equivalent to the other area, rectangle. The rectangle, perfect rectangle is the height is what? Is the mean squared current multiplied by the, the width. What is the width? Period. Uh, okay. So now you find the mean squared value. I mean squared. What is I mean squared? The period all cancel. Okay, all period cancel. So what do you get? 9 over 2 plus 4 over 2. Right? Okay, what do you get? 9 over 2, 4 over 2 is uh, uh, 13, right? Uh, 13 over 2 is your mean squared value. Uh, this is your mean squared. Uh, okay. So now, but what do we want to find? We want to find RMS value. Okay. Well, this is your mean squared value. Just root the mean squared. Just root the mean squared. You get RMS. Uh, so that means the RMS value is root of 13 over 2. Uh, this is your RMS current for this AC. Okay, this is how you need to find RMS current. Okay, for an uneven shape of alternating current. Okay, so what do you have to do? You have to work from behind. Okay, you have to square the graph first. When you square the graph, it's going to be all in a positive region. Okay, it might, the shape might be not a perfect rectangle. Eh? Maybe kind of like one is different height, another one is another different height. So we we want to average it out. So the we make it like a the, this uneven shape. We want to make it like a rectangle shape. So the height is the mean square, mean square value. Uh, so the uneven shape area should be same as the the height, uh, the new height mean square times the period. So all the period cancel to get the mean square. Just root it, get the root mean square. Okay, so what I'm teaching you now, finding RMS for uh, uneven, a different, a different type of alternating current other than sinusoidal. You have to square it, you have to every minute, then you have to root it. Okay, try to absorb the idea. I give you another one to find the RMS. Okay. Okay, if you absorb the idea, can sure, you try sure. this? Yeah. Why do you times four with t over two? Okay. So actually yeah, the, the area, right? The area is equal. You see this area, this this area, the, the blue color, the area. Uh the what is the area? How do you write how do you write the area of this? 9 times t over 2, the first rectangular area. The next rectangular area is 4 times, this also t over 2. Right? t minus t over 2 is t over 2, right? That's why you put 4 t over 2. La. Height is 4, height here is 4. The width is t over 2 also. Right? Okay. Riyad, you have the idea. Yeah, thanks. Huh? Actually, we make the whatever uneven shape to uh, like a rectangle shape like, to find the mean value uh, to get mean value okay so i don't know how well you absorb this okay get to know with this graph we give another ac please get me the rms value for this one uh, the i versus t the graph was changing like this okay it's like okay here and here a long one huh? here is three ampere down is negative two ampere uh, this is t over 4. Okay, this is t. Uh, okay, one minute for you. Can you find what is the RMS value for this AC? Use the method I taught you just now. Find the root mean square value for this. Square the graph. Then min the graph. Then root it. 
uh, WhatsApp me the answer. You can WhatsApp me in terms of uh, uh, three significant figure. Uh -huh. You can tell me the class itself. Two minutes for you. Come on. Okay, so, so far I never received any answer yet. Okay, square the graph. Yes. Uh, square the graph. So three become nine, negative two become four. Uh, uneven shape, right? Okay. Then that shape make it like a rectangle. We, we average it out the value. So mean square times the period. Find the mean square. Then root it. You get root mean square. Give a try, give three significant figure. Mm, okay, good to see all of you giving me the same answer. Eh? 2.29. All of you giving me 2.29, three of you. So this is your RMS value. Eh? Is it? Okay, let's check. So first you square the graph, eh? square so it become three here. Uh, sorry, it become nine. Here become four. Eh? It's going to be four. Yeah. Uh, so this is the shape now, right? Eh? So nine times t over four, right? Plus four times uh, this is three quarter, right? Eh? Yeah. Three t over four should be equivalent to. We average it out. Eh? We make this uneven change of current to a straight line like this average eh? for the period we average out. So this, this is your I mean square. Eh? So I mean square multiplied by the period. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, so I mean square is what? Is uh, 9 over 4 plus 3, right? Or I put 12 over 4. 12 over 4. Eh? So it's a uh, 21 over 4, eh? is it? Yeah, 21 over 4. So the mean square value is 5 point something, 5.25. Eh? Your mean square, yeah, you square it, you square root it. So you get root of 5.25. Uh, I think around 2 point, is it 2.29? Yeah, okay, good. So this root mean square value for this AC. Okay. Okay, so those who got 2.29, good. Square the graph, min the graph, then root it. Okay. The area have to be the same. Eh? Area have to be the same. Okay. Okay, guys. So I don't want to do another one. I hope you got the idea. Eh? Okay, now not only this. RMS they ask, okay. There is another type of current also they ask in exam. Uh, mean current. It is called mean current. Mean current. Okay. It's not square. It's not root. It's not square. Just mean. Mean current also they ask. Okay. How do you find mean current? Uh, this, this is like average current uh, without squaring it. Uh, uh, mean current. Uh, mean current is the same way just now. Like, you know, uh, just now you got uh, uh, what you got? Just now you got uh, three and negative two, right? Okay, three and negative two. Okay. First is three, and you got negative two. Uh, three, negative two, alternating current. This is T over four. This is T. Now they ask you to find find the mean current. 
okay min current okay min current you do the same thing okay same the area this area we converted to a rectangle again okay this is called the height is the i min eh? but the area we never square it we never square it of course and the area on top of the graph will take the area as positive the bottom area we take it treat it as negative okay treat it as negative so so here the area for this graph is what the first area is 3 times t over 4 plus uh, what uh, sorry should be minus la, eh? minus uh, 2 times 3t over 4 eh? right 3t right this is width is 3t uh, 3t over 4 right uh, yeah yeah the area need to be minus because the area is at the bottom so this area else later we go for like a square like a square area like this so the height is the mean so this equals to i mean times period uh, okay so this is mean current okay so for this case how much is the mean current so 3t over 4 minus 6 over 40 is equals to i mean times t so yeah, I got a negative answer for this case because my number because uh, 3t over 4. Eh? Yeah, yeah, correct. So you got more is negative. Yeah, correct. So you got uh, how much? You got negative 3 over 4. I mean, uh, ampere. So the mean current here is negative 3 over 4 ampere. That means negative shows that it is it's always move in the negative side. La. Majority of the current move in uh, the negative direction. Eh? Oh, this is mean current. Okay. So both has been asked in exam. Okay. Root mean squared. I think by now you know, right? Eh? You square it. The area all need to be added because area all going to shift to the positive region. So area all added is equals to I mean squared times T. If they ask for mean value, mean, you don't need to square the graph. But whatever area below is treated as negative. Eh? So positive area minus the negative area is equals to i mean time period that's all okay the mean current okay okay let's see i test you again i want to give you a graph i want you to find rms and also mean mean okay let's we see okay you go up yeah Okay, let's say you have one alternating current i versus t is like this okay up is three down is negative three is t over two this is t okay yeah okay this is ac huh? so can you find for me what is the rms value and what is the mean mean value mean current for this ac okay one minute for you come on Find the root mean square first. Uh, square the graph, mean the graph, root it, you get the RMS value. Can you WhatsApp me again? Uh, first answer is your RMS answer, then put comma, the second answer is your mean answer. Okay, WhatsApp me. Okay, one minute, huh? Find the RMS value first. Uh, RMS, square the graph. And min the graph, min the value, then root. A mean value, just these two area. Eh? The positive area, area on top is positive, bottom area is negative. 
So when you find the total area, the upper area minus the bottom area should be equals to I mean times period. Uh, so you find the I mean. Actually, I mean it's easy. Only thing is the area at the bottom is negative. Okay, so I'm getting answers. Okay. Uh, two of you giving me the answer. The RMS is three and the mean value is zero. Three ampere, zero ampere. Two of you said this. Yeah, this is getting the same answer. Three ampere, zero ampere. Correct, right? So RMS, what do you do? Square the graph. Uh, so square the graph. So three become nine, become nine, and here become, oh, both become nine, all become nine. Oh, this is all become nine. Uh, so yeah, nine times period is equals to I mean square times the period. Uh, uh, so I mean squared is actually nine. So you root it, root mean squared, you get root of nine. So it's three and a half, of course. So I, RMS is three for this AC. So I mean, I mean is uh, three times T over two minus uh, three times another T over two. Eh? It's I mean times period. So of course the period exactly canceling each other. So I mean is zero. So there is no average current. Yeah. Okay, class, that's all for today. Uh, time's up. So this is what you need to learn. Uh, those who couldn't get the idea, please watch again the video. Okay. Okay, so I catch up with you next class. Um, okay, any questions? Those who have questions can stay. Those who don't have, you can leave. Uh, thanks. I have a question. Yeah. Can I ask if the IRMS can be negative value? IRMS cannot be negative value because once, once you square it, all become positive already. Right. <laughs> Okay, thanks. So. No way, eh? Okay. Thanks. Thanks, sir. Thanks. Thanks, sir. Thanks, sir. Yeah. Thanks, sir. Thanks.